carbon fiber roof, volcano black metallic paint, the final V6 quadrifolios are starting to trickle in. Let's take a look around Alfa Romeo's most powerful sedan ever before it goes away for good. <laughs> What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where today I'm at Maserati Alfa Romeo Daytona Beach with the 2024 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Now this is our third 2024 Quadrifoglio on the channel and now we have Volcano Black here on the channel to show off for you guys. So we're gonna do a walk around, we're gonna check this thing out because you gotta remember that Alfa Romeo just broke the news that the last Giulia Quadrifoglio coming to the United States, well, it's leaving the factory in June. You only have one month to get your orders in for Julia Quadrifoglio in this ice variant. Yes, the internal combustion V6 is on its way out. And these are the final models here that are coming out. So guys, these are gonna be super rare to get. So I wanna give you guys a walk around just in case we don't get a chance to see this in the coming future. So with that said, let's get right to it. Now with a 111 inch wheelbase, the Julia Quadrifoglio for 2024 weighs 3,862 pounds. Now your length, is 182.6 inches, your width is 73.8 inches, and your height is 56.1 inches. And then how can we not talk about the twin turbocharged, intercooled, 24 valve V6, aluminum block and heads, and direct fuel injection on this 505 horsepower, 443 pound feet V6 engine. Guys, this is the monster for I derived eight speed zf transmission carbon fiber drive shaft rear wheel drive we're looking at a top speed of 191 miles per hour with a zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds one of the best performers when it comes to a sedan on the planet and it's been like this for years since this thing was reintroduced here in the american market back in 2017 2016 and then with that just to add fuel to the fire we have a dry carbon hood underneath so yeah beauty in all angles power in all angles sound driving experience we know it all coming from the julia quadrifoglio which is why this car is so sought after which is why this is going to go down in history which is why these are going to be so rare moving forward <laughs> So here she is in Volcano Black Metallic. And if you guys couldn't tell, there's a special uh, special little uh, option there on the roof we'll get to in just a moment because it'll be our first time seeing it in 2024 and we don't see it too often on a Julia Quaz. But let's talk about it in just a moment. What we have in front of us here is the Volcano Black Metallic paint. Look at how glorious this is in this Florida sun, guys. It It is just one of those paints where, wow, you just have to appreciate that shine, that sparkle. There's so many different colors in there, I don't even know where to start. And then up front for the quads, we know what this is all about. We have the new Tri-LEDs right up front that look phenomenal on this car. I know a lot of people liked it better on the Stelvio when they were first introduced this year, but I'm really liking them on the Julius with the eyebrow over top. And in that eyebrow, you have the Alfa Romeo script there as well and the amber reflector there too to go along with it. We'll see all this illuminated in just a moment. Now, this Cadetto up front with the Trilobo, well, it's normal like you would see, you know, colorful here and then the dark beetle on finish, all right? And then you also have down here the front lip done in carbon fiber. Reason being is, well, it's carbon fiber, extra weight savings, but this is a retractable front lip. So at around 70 miles per hour, this will retract to create extra downforce because this is a performer. Carbon fiber drive shaft as well, real wheel drive. We'll talk about that in just a moment. You can also see that we have the big honeycomb grill, the openings here on the side, the ventilation here as well. It just makes it all super aggressive. So then when you stand back and look at it, she looks great. Now notice those nostrils in the hood as well for extra extraction to keep that engine cool. We'll talk about that engine in just a moment because that is actually a carbon fiber hood. Well, dry carbon fiber. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But what do you guys think about the front fascia of the Julia Quadrifoglio? So then when we talk about the side profile, she looks really good. Had to start off with a lower point of view so you guys can see it. But starting with the wheels, you know, the classic five hole, dark five hole wheels, the monochrome insignia for the Alfa Romeo script there. And then 
Alfro male on the Brembo brakes, red calipers, drilled rotors, and then of course Pirelli P0 Corsa tires. All right, we gotta keep the good stickies on here in order to hold this car down in the corners. Now, the Quadrifoglio badge, the clover leaf there, obviously it is not an irish car i know a lot of people ask that but no there's a lot of history behind this if you know you know um if i need to make another dedicated video on it i will and then you guys can see in the front fender here we also have a honeycomb grill for some airflow all right so we are letting air go right through here from under the tire as you guys can see now when we talk about the side profile we can't stop talking about it when it comes to the gloss black window moldings the gloss black mirror cap and the carbon fiber side skirt going all the way across here. As you guys can see, it blends in in the black. You wanna know what else blends in in the black? This carbon fiber roof. Did you guys see this? First look, carbon fiber roof. This went right over my head. I didn't even see it right away. And the exposed carbon fiber roof is a little bit more expensive this year, but this is a perfect sheet of carbon fiber. Check that out, guys. Not a flaw in this thing. Perfect weave. It looks phenomenal, but there's a price on that we'll talk about in just a moment. It looks beautiful. So then you take a step back, you look at it all together, and you can appreciate it as a whole and just marvel at this thing. Now coming to the rear of the QV, that carbon fiber roof looks so good with the carbon fiber trunk spoiler. And then in black, this is so sinister with the new clear tails for 2024 and the Julia badging. So you put all that together, check that out. I mean... Wow, Alfa Romeo Insignia right there in the center. How amazing does all that look? And then we get down to the lower half where we have the shark fin rear diffuser, the big slats there, and the quad exhaust tips. Two on each side done in chrome. The honeycomb grill, you guys can see, which is functional there, right there in the center. And then the slats or ventilation on the side, should I say, for airflow where you can see the tire straight through. Again, it's just really cool, really aggressive, really sporty. And the Quadrifoglio still looks damn good after being on the market for this long with minimal changes. It's just, this was art, this was perfection from Alfa Romeo and it's still standing the test of time to where people want to scoop up these cars so quickly in 2024. When we talk about fuel economy, we're looking at 20, 17 25 20 combined city and highway 17 city 25 highway premium fuel give her the good juice around the 13 cubic feet of space when it comes to the trunk here as you guys can see 40 20 40 split and the cargo we have our handles on each side we have our battery stored over there our carpets front plate kit just in case you need a front plate and nothing back here <laughs> you know i mean run flat tires tire and plate kits there so that'll help you out and then you got a tow hook there and screwdriver just in case you need it they kept these pretty simple i mean it doesn't even have a button to close it you just pull this down weight savings weight savings you know when it comes to electronics that's a little extra weight but just push it down like that you're good to go so let's check out the flashers as you guys can see the new tri leds are illuminated switchback leds going from bright white to amber with the full led headlamp there as well looking very sharp and then in the mirror cap and that black mirror cap is kind of hidden in there you know with the florida sun but we do have an amber turn signal there and then in the rear you guys will see the led tails in the clear format and the flashers there and the refresh rate it looks like it's flashing but it's not flashing there it's just a refresh rate not being able to capture uh, or be captured by the camera but it looks really good all illuminated here now this is where you want to be right in the driver's seat of the Julia Quadrifoglio for 2024 because let me tell you the driving experience behind this thing is like no other which is again one of the many reasons why people love this car so much so we're not going to talk about it let's just get inside and we'll go from there now when I step inside you will see that I'm greeted with an aluminum side sill and aluminum pedals for the gas brake and dead pedal there as well and when I go to close the door I'm touching on soft touches with stitching leather upper stitching the new 3d carbon fiber bezels surrounds all right with the aluminum door handles and the Harman Kardon sound system this is here because the windows just got tenant so it reminds you not to roll them down so we're not going to do that today but actually before we even close the door let's start her up and see how she sounds because we know how she sounds but let's just hear how she sounds put on the brake red start stop button oh oh 
Sounds so good. It's not even dynamic mode. It's not even a race mode. We'll get there. Lighting controls over here, your parking sensors and your start stop mode. And then extra storage, good for your license, your registration, insurance, whatever you want to put there. Turbine vents, the uppers done in leather, the stitching done here as well with the 3D carbon fiber. Again, new for 2024 here. All right. And then the seats, sports seats, extra bolstering, also heated as well, looking very good with the stitching and the Alpha Man insignia there. In the center, we also have our 3D carbon fiber. All right, again, all new and standard for the quads. We have our extra storage cup holders. We have our parking uh, brake here. We have our two track system. All right, and this is for our gear selector here, eight speed ZF. So you can pull it over here and do manual mode if you don't wanna use the patties. Then we have our radio controls here, our DNA drive mode selector where dynamic mode, open up those valves, soft as the dampers, race mode. Well, that is going to definitely, <laughs> definitely get you guys in a, in, a, in, a, in a whole field. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But then moving on to the quick radio controls, all right, for our infotainment there as well. And our charger, wireless charger and the armrest, we have USB 2.0, USB-C and an aux with the wireless, or not wireless, the key transmitter there as well. Now, I'm skipping over that for just a second, guys. I got more to say, but I wanted to kind of keep this part brief so we can get to the fun part. So I'll close the door for the fun part because the fun part involves the drive modes. Now you guys can see we're in race mode because we have the new digital dash for 2024 and race mode gives us the tech right there in the center and it focuses it really here on what you're trying to do with that quadrifolio badge where your traction control is off, your driver assistance controls are off, which is why you see lights here and you're just focused, all right? You are focused on just driving and being track ready, having some fun with this nice flat bottom steering wheel, carbon down the center, the Alcantara on the insides. Then we have our driver assistance stuff over here, our controls for our menus and everything there, radio, big aluminum column mounted power shifters. This is where you really wanna focus your attention. Now we've seen the um, infotainment system here, all right? 8.8 inch screen, alpha males in-house system. Won't go over that too much, but you can control it via touch screen or via the dials here, but we've gone over that plenty of times since 2020, since that's been out. Um, but then, if you don't wanna do race mode, you're gonna go to dynamic, all right? Then it changes up, all right? And you can also change it by using the menu controls. So, if I wanna press this here, that'll change between my three driving dials there, so you guys can see all of them. If I go to natural, everyday driving mode, then it dials down as well a little bit and then i go to advanced efficiency so it has its own little settings but you know as far as the visuals but you can change them however you want but whenever you are in race mode and you gotta hold it over for three seconds then that's when you get the big boy and what's really cool is i never really noticed this but you can see the dry carbon fiber in the hood from right here look at that guys that looks really cool the dry carbon fiber is showing on the hood that's that's awesome but yeah, we've seen a lot of this stuff before. Again, I just kind of wanted to show you for 2024 what's been changed up a little bit and just kind of give you the glimpse of that screen um, because yes, this is only on the Quadrifolio models. So. Now you can also change the stuff that are in each of the dials here as well. So you see my tire pressure and everything like that, or I can go to this side and change things and you know, like the stored messages and all that. So it just depends on what you guys want to do. But again, very configurable and just a great place to be. Can't complain. The back of the Julia Quad looks just as good as the front. So per usual, you'll see on the doors that we have our extended leather, our stitching, and our carbon fiber bezel around the aluminum door handle there. You also see we have our speakers here because we do have our Harman Kardon sound system. And then before we step in, the bolstered seating, perforated leather, heated seats, done in black as well, per usual. Step inside. And there we are fitting very nice and cozy back here for the Julia. You also have our turbine vents for ventilation back here. And then USB 2.0 plugins with our heated seating controls. And in the middle, our armrest. Keep it plain and simple, but still very nice back here. Good place to be. So here's what the 2024 Julia Quadrifolio Wheel Wheel Drive is going to cost you. The base price is $81,370 for the 2024 model year. After the additional options, which we have a few here, then we're looking at $86,875. Now, how do we get there? Well, obviously that volcano black exterior paint which shines so brightly, $660. And then you're wondering about the exposed carbon fiber roof. 
that is $2,500 this year. I believe it used to be $200, $2,500 for the 2024 model year. And then the gloss red coppers with white script, $750. And you have a destination charge of $1,595. So then after all of that, that's where we get our $86,000 price. And we have a basic warranty and powertrain warranty of four years, 50,000 miles. So after all of that, you gotta see what comes standard, right? This is everything that you guys would see standard on the julia quad the best of the best that alpha male has to offer when it comes to their models the performance beast that is going to be missed and still looks and performs so good after so many years on the market it's just crazy that we're gonna lose the v6 but i'm excited to see what comes out of the future and i'm excited to spend more time with these before they go so at $86,000, guys, worth it for you guys for the Julia Quad. What are you guys thinking about this spec? Is this one you're going to pick up over possibly a Brady Montreal or Rosso Edna like we've seen on the channel before? You love in the black on black. Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys want to help further support the channel, check the links down in the description. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, all that good stuff. Also, my merch. You guys subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And we will see you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.